Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk and in this video we're going to be talking about the unmountable boot volume, blue screen of death that you get. Now basically uh, this means that it's either a corrupt uh, boot any file which is the most common one. I mean unless you've been um, changing cables for the wrong cables and whatnot. I mean but this is the normal common one which it is and so it's probably your corrupt boot file boot any file that you've got and I'm going to show you a way to fix that okay so you need to put us you need to put your Windows CD in and reboot the machine like so you probably have to access the BIOS uh, and put in boot to CD you can do that by pushing F2 or Dell on the keyboard. Basically, once that's done, you're going to load up Windows CD. And then uh, I'm going to pause this here just for a little bit of time to put loads in, otherwise, you'll be watching this load up. So, see there when it gets to the end of it. Okay, this is uh, all loaded up now, as you can see, starting to load in. Set up its starting windows, it says, and then the next window will be this. So what we need to do here is just push R on the keyboard to go into the recovery console, like so. Once the recovery console is loaded up, now you may see a slightly different look on yours if you've got a dual boot, dual, dual boot, dual dual boot on your machine you may see a slight difference there so if it's only one drive you've got with windows on it then put one in the thing there click enter if you've got an administration password or administrator password you need to put that in at this point if you haven't just push enter on the keyboard now this is the bit that's interesting I've seen a lot of people say uh, check disk P or check disk R so it's normally which what uh, Microsoft and that recommend is check this car. So if you do check this car, basically you let that go through its per, uh, process there. And you could really um, do the both of them if you wanted to. You can actually put check this car and then do check this P if you wanted to. Just depends on whether you fancy rebooting into recovery console because if this doesn't work, you're going to have to go back in and try check this. Uh, forward slash R uh, P. So I think stick with the R first and, and let this load up. This is nearly finished now as you can see. Once this is like, once this is finished it's uh scan. We need to just do the final thing. So I'm just going to quickly pause this until it finishes it so you don't get bored watching it. Okay, that's now finished. And now we need to type in fix boot, like so. Oh, we need to get back into the actual set into the virtual box. So we type fix boot, like so. And it will say target uh, C. Now, if you've got a dual boot here, you don't want to just type fix boot, you need to put the uh, name of the drive which you want to do fix boot on so for instance if it was D you'd have to put D code on backslash fix boot and then it will do it on D so basically we're going to say yes to this and that's why push enter and it's going to write a new boot sector and reboot and then see if that boots up if that doesn't boot up you need to come back into recovery console and then type check disk like so forward slash P and then do the, the next bit uh, where it says fix boot again, okay, and then uh, and see if that fixes it, and that should fix all, mostly all the time it fixes it, okay. So just exit out of this and reboot the machine, and then you should see you should be able to boot back into your desktop. You've been listening to Brian from Brightech.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please leave your comments. I'll be making some more tutorials in the future. Bye for now.